Hi again, this is Lara, and now I'm going to show you how to use the Snagit editor. Now we've taken a couple of screenshots, but now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this document. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to resize it, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller so that way I can capture it all. There we go. And then I'm going to capture it again. Lovely little thing, isn't it? And here, I'm going to just capture it from here to just down to where I actually have text. Because let's pretend like I'm going to make this a picture or something. I don't need the whole document. Okay, so let's make my Snagit editor. Now this is the Snagit editor. I'm going to show you just a couple of features. Notice that you have these tabs above. Most often I stick with the draw and the image tabs. In the draw tab, you can do a bunch of different things. These tools are your friends. Um, of course, one of the things that you see first is the arrow. Notice that you have all these different styles, and if you click the drop down, you can see other colors. Now, just because I may say, oh, I really like this blue, but a blue on blue with blue text doesn't really stick out. So what I can do is I can double click it, change the color of it, and let's say I want to make it, um, let's go for like a red color, okay? I can make it that, and then I can make it a, a quite bigger. So here I made an arrow pointing to the arrow text. Next I can make a box. Boxes to me are very helpful. I use boxes sometimes when I take a picture. And let's say I have like a student's last name or you know my last name and I don't want it necessarily shown or something that I need to hide on the screen. What I'll do is that I'll use it use a box. If so when I click the box, you notice that you have all these different shapes and it's similar to Word. Um, but the one that I use most often is that I just click on the black box. And let's say that I need to get rid of this exclamation mark. It just doesn't work. So what I do is that I draw a black box by, again, using my left mouse key and clicking and dragging where I want it. So when I click off it, I notice that it's hidden. Now, obviously this black box isn't the prettiest. So what I'm going to do is double click it, and then I'm going to fill it in with white and then you'll notice that it disappears okay now really did it disappear did I erase it no I didn't erase it but I just hit it with a white box um, this is a tip that I use a lot so I just wanted to give you an idea about that the next but you can also use boxes let me just back up a second use boxes um, and I like a kind of rounded box if I'm trying to emphasize something so I, if I go like that and just dr click and drag and notice it has a nice shape to it and if I want to make it a bit thicker I go down use this tool and I've made this fairly nice and it stands out and I do this a lot of times to sort of fake out what I'm um, trying to emphasize but notice that because I had this other one highlighted it messed that one up so just be careful that you don't have two things highlighted at once so I'm going to undo those. Okay, there we go. Um, the next thing that I want to do is use the fonts. And I like to sometimes create a box. So let me just create a box here. And now what I do is that I go to the text or font box. I call it font, sorry. And then I just create it inside. And that way I can adjust it either way um, with either the text or the box changing according to the size that I need it to be. And then last but not least, and of course you have other tools here too, I use the highlighter. And you notice that there's a bunch of different colors. Um, sometimes you might want to go with something a little bit more muted. But let's say I needed to highlight Snagit 10. You just click and drag again, and it highlights. And then I can highlight Snagit Editor, and then I stop blink signs. Okay, so that's the Draw tab. Next, we're going to go over the Image tab in Snagit Editor.